Welcome to another edition of JavaScript for You. This morning we're going to take a look at how JavaScript executes on a page. So to take a look at that, what I've done is created a little function up in the header. And the first thing you should know is that normally you put JavaScript functions in the header so that they can be called from anywhere in the document. We'll get to putting JavaScript in external files later. Right now we're just doing some basic stuff. Now this code will not be called, and the reason for that is if you look in the body, there's no call to it. Down here I just have some text. You should not see any JavaScript executing. So I put a function up here in the header, but it's not going to execute. Normally, if you don't put code in a function, if you do it like I did in the last edition, it'll just execute as soon as the page loads. The reason you put it in a function is you may not want it to execute when the page loads. You may want it to execute upon some condition or event. And that's what we're going to do here. So first off, let's open up this file. File, open file, and we'll go into JS Lessons, and we'll open up this JS function 1.html. And there we go, no JavaScript executed. Not very exciting, but let's bring up a different function here. So I've gone in here, different file, and I've got function message, the same one. And here I've said on load of the page, call the function. You notice the way I've called it. This is C style syntax, which is what JavaScript uses. So I've got paren, paren. So no arguments are being passed to this function. So let's see how that operates. Let's go ahead and open this up. So I'll just swap in the two up here. I'll do this the easy way. Instead of going back to the menu, we'll put in two here, hit that. And there we go, there our function was called. So you notice the difference between these two. Let's push that out of the way. The same alert is put up here in both cases in the header. I've got the same function, but here I didn't call it. Here I did call it. And that's what functions are useful for. You can call them when you wish on some event. We'll get into those events later. Right now, we're just doing the very basic stuff, executing a call, on page load. So, till next time, have fun with JavaScript.